to wear a graphic t-shirt or not to wear a graphic t-shirt. Can graphic t-shirts be dressed up? Those are the questions before us today, Sartorialist. And if you asked most classic menswear YouTubers and classic menswear enthusiasts, the answer to both of those questions would be some variation of no. In their opinion, graphic t-shirts are hopelessly boyish, tacky, and impossibly casual. They simply cannot be dressed up. It's still a cheap shirt that was meant to be worn by boys, by boys, by boys, by boys, and as an undergarment by laborers, and laborers, and laborers. So it's not ideal if you want to show the best side of you. If you're going out in public, opt for that plain, solid t-shirt, the basic t-shirt instead of this graphic tee. It's always going to look better, and like I've said so many times in videos, often basics make the best outfit. Also, let's talk about graphics. Graphic t-shirts are always always casual. You can't dress them up, all right? But in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about why I disagree with these classic menswear YouTubers and enthusiasts, and talk to you about some of the ways that you can dress up graphic t-shirts that are both tasteful and time-tested. And with that said, let's get into it. So I have to begin with a hypocritical confession. I, for a very long time, like many classic menswear enthusiasts and YouTubers, did not like graphic t-shirts and thought no man should wear one ever. In my opinion, they were against the rules of classic menswear. Learn your rules, you better learn your rules. If you don't, you'll be eaten in your sleep. And emotionally speaking, I simply found them to be Icky. This largely had to do with the remnants of political beliefs I held in my early 20s, which were very to the left and also very anti-corporation. But blah, 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 blah. We're not here to talk about my political beliefs today. But as it relates to wearing graphic t-shirts, I'm simply making the point that I didn't want to become a walking billboard for corporations that I perceive to be both greedy and manipulative and destructive. But as I've gotten older, and my view of the world has become more nuanced. It finally allowed for the wearing of graphic t-shirts. But before I mustered up all of the necessary courage and bravery to once again wear a graphic t-shirt like I did as a kid growing up in the 90s, I encountered plenty of resistance in the blogs, forums, and on classic menswear YouTube videos. And honestly, I did not find most of the arguments against wearing graphic t-shirts and dressing up graphic t-shirts very compelling whatsoever. Most of them seem to stem from the idea that graphic t-shirts are in some way boyish or immature. And here I have to make something of a concession because I believe that most of the graphic t-shirts on the market are boyish and immature. If you have a graphic t-shirt that you purchase from Walmart with a chrome flaming dragon on it, that's probably boyish and immature. If you have a graphic t-shirt with words on it that say something like, kiss me, I'm Irish, or big dick is back in town, those are probably immature and boyish. And likewise, if you have a graphic t-shirt that has a massive brand logo on it, I wouldn't say that that's necessarily boyish or immature, but I would say that it's ill-considered because it comes off almost as braggadocious. But I would argue, let's not throw out the sartorial baby with the bathwater. Not all graphic t-shirts are created equal. On this front, I tend to agree with the advice given by Peter Nugan, I believe that's how you say his name, in his article, The Grown Man's Guide to Wearing Graphic T-Shirts, in which he argues, when you are trying to determine whether a graphic t-shirt is suitable to wear as an adult male, you should ask yourself the following question about the graphic. Could this image be framed and hung in a museum? If the answer to that question is yes, then in his opinion, the graphic is sophisticated or grown up enough for you to wear. However, if the answer to that question is no, then the graphic is not sophisticated or grown up for you to wear, at least in public. He seems to argue that you can wear these graphic t-shirts, but just know that they are more casual. And for our purposes, they likely would be much harder to 
dress up and you likely shouldn't do it. But he also tends to think that the graphic t-shirts, which are most sophisticated and grown up, are those with minimalist designs. Now, I don't necessarily agree with him on that front, but I do agree that using the museum test when you are trying to determine whether a graphic t-shirt is suitable or not is a good rule of thumb. Now that we've addressed the question whether or not you should wear graphic t-shirts and what graphic t-shirts are considered to be suitable, we now have to answer the question, can they be dressed up? In my opinion, the answer to this question is very simple. Categorically, I would say yes, graphic t-shirts can be dressed up, which you might have guessed based on my outfit here in this video today, as I have on a sport coat and a graphic t-shirt. But those who seem to think that you can't dress up graphic t-shirts seem to have an argument in their mind that graphic t-shirts are by definition casual and therefore cannot be dressed up. This seems like a silly argument to me. If you wear a graphic t-shirt with a pair of jeans and you decide to put a sport coat over the top of the graphic t-shirt, have you not, by definition, dressed up the graphic t-shirt? Likewise, if you are wearing a suit and you decide to wear a graphic t-shirt with a suit, have you not dressed up the graphic t-shirt? It really seems that simple to me. There are two ways I like to dress up graphic t-shirts, but of course there are more ways to do it. And these approaches are in no way new or novel to me. I particularly like wearing graphic t-shirts with high rise pleated wide leg trousers. Now, the reason that I like doing this is because it plays with so-called high and low articles of clothing. The high article of clothing would be the high rise pleated trousers, of course, because they're considered to be more formal. And the low article of clothing would be the graphic t-shirt as that is associated with more casual wear like sportswear or streetswear. Now this is a facet of 80s and 90s dressing that I just really enjoy and find particularly inspiring. Now the trick for me to pulling off this look is actually to order a graphic t-shirt a few sizes larger than I order my t-shirts normally. So I usually like wearing my t-shirts a bit more close fitting so I usually wear a small. However, when I'm ordering a graphic t-shirt, I'll actually order a size large. What this allows me to do is have a very blousy shirt and then a kind of cinch waist. And I usually wear my high rise pleated trousers that are wide legged with a slim belt. So the waist appears cinched and then the wide legged trousers. So I kind of have a blousy but proportional silhouette. The second way I dress up graphic t-shirts is with high rise straight leg jeans, a Western belt, a sport coat and I usually wear them with tassel loafers which are a more formal shoe than a sneaker but a less formal shoe than say for example an Oxford. Now as for the wearing I wear them just the same. With the graphic t-shirt I ordered a few sizes larger because my jeans are a bit more wide-legged so that it remains proportional and as far as the sport coat is concerned I try to wear my sport coats that are a little bit fit a little bit larger on me to try to remain as proportional as possible, but a lot of my sport coats are a bit slimmer than I would like, which is something that I'll have to remedy at some point in my style journey. But for now, I try to choose ones that are more loose fitting. In short, I believe that you should wear graphic t-shirts and I believe that they can be dressed up. The great thing about graphic t-shirts is that they allow you to express your individuality in a way that no other article of clothing or accessory can. Take me for example. I'm somebody who I would say is uniquely patriotic. I love America and I love being American. And one of the ways that I express that is in my dress by incorporating graphic t-shirts that are American themed, which obviously is like the one I'm wearing here today. This is actually a painting by the artist Keith Haring, so you know it passes the museum rule, but it's American flag with people jumping outside of the American flag. It's a very fun, playful graphic, but it still allows me to communicate something unique about my personality. Once again, that I am patriotic. But I would encourage you guys to do the same when you are purchasing graphic t-shirts. Make sure that the graphic t-shirt passes the museum rule. Make sure it's sophisticated or grown up enough to wear. But also find something that is very personal to you. Something that's very meaningful, something that you love, and incorporate it into your outfit. I think you guys will have a lot of fun with this. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. Tell me down in the comments below what you guys think about my ideas about wearing graphic t-shirts. And otherwise, if you enjoyed this content, 
hit that like button, smash subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be informed when I drop more videos on the Holsey style. Until next time, guys.